What's up everybody, Old Dazzling Dave here again. Just wanted to do a quick rundown on the crates that I use. Um, I'm going to show you the two different crates I use and when I use them, why I use them, um, and what I keep inside of them, um, as well as how they're set up and why I've chosen to set them up that way. So our first crate here, this one here I built, um, this is for the, the front of the kayak. Um, so it'll sit up front. Um, it's got two pieces of PVC zip tied to the sides. Um, what I do is there, if I need to rig up something real quick, I throw the rod in there. It's right there in front of me. I can rig it up, throw it back out. If I'm catfishing, two extra rod holders. Um, you'll see that unlike most crates, like this crate right here, this crate is down. Um, it's open. Um, so you can put stuff inside. This one here, on the other hand, is upside down. What I've done here, what I've done here is mount a dry box to the top with washers and bolts, and I can just simply throw my stuff in there. Uh, keys, phone, whatever, it's all dry right there in front of me. Um, it's also got holes drilled into the sim so I can put my tools up there easy access for pliers, um, hook outs, uh, scales, whatever. Um, inside of here you'll see I got a pool noodle, one for extra floatage in case it does come off, two, it also, when I put my um, boxes in there, it pushes them forward a little bit so they're easier to get to, and then a bungee cord to strap them down and keep them in place. All right, so the second one, the one that keeps stays in the back, one that stays in the back is one with all the accessories on it. These here were uh, out of a arrow quiver, the tubes. Just so happens that the rods fit right down in them real good. So I got two of those. I got my flag stand, same tube. My Vizzy flag is nothing more than a piece of orange t-shirt that I cut zippy tied to a flagpole. That just lets all the boats know, hey, there's a kayaker over here. Slow down, be careful, watch out. So that usually stays in there. The long white tube here is for an umbrella. On really hot days, you can stick an umbrella down in there. You'll see I got a bolt ran through it. Um, that'll catch the edge of the umbrella and gives me shade. Doesn't, I got it up high so it doesn't interfere with my casting or hooking or anything like that. And then another um, rod holder there. Um, inside, well first, first before we go there, the outside here I got a, just a bungee strap and then I keep my hand paddle in there. So if you're like up against a dock or something like that you don't want to get your big paddle out, you can just hand paddle away. Now getting inside the, the crate itself, um, keep my anchoring system in there. It's nothing more than a five pound neoprene coated hand dumbbell with uh, about 30, 40 feet of line and a brass um, leader. So in the kayak we go, or into the crate we go, I should say. Um, stuff I keep in there. I got a packable rain jacket that goes in there. And then I keep my boonie cap in there. Gotta have that. Um, these here are I've got two of these. These are one and a half inch Y coupling to a one inch piece of PVC pipe. And what I do with those is I built some gear heads for the track, um, toilet bowl bolt, a reducer, and then I packed it with um, plumber's putty to harden it up so I can screw them down on the track. They sit in there like so, and then these go inside there. And bam, instant rod holders. Got my gloves, they stay in there. And then I collect, not really collect, I'm not or really hoard, I should say, but I uh, I hang on to peanut butter jars. Why? Because they're great little storages, storage containers. They're, you've already bought it, so it's not any extra expense. You've used the product inside, so essentially this is free. Um, so I got a, got a hook and weight in there. Um, now, also something else I use a lot is coffee cans, the plastic coffee cans. Um, I, 
keep hooks, weights, whatever in there. Um, I like using these because they're easy storage and they're waterproof. So that'll go in there. What's next? I uh, got some bug spray. Nights on the out on the river, on the lake, bugs are bad. I also carry a thermocell, but it's actually in my hunting gear right now, so it's not in that goes in there. I know I use a lot of UF, UPF stuff, but I also always carry some, uh, that's actually 50. I burn very easily. So I put that on my feet so they don't get burnt. Scupper plugs, mine takes eight. So I keep them all together so I don't lose them on a carabiner. And then I just clip that to the side. So they're all together all the time. Um, so that one to get loaded in the back of the kayak. Now I have another, um, I keep a, my tackle bag in the uh, kayak as well. That has all my tackle in it. It stays up front out of the way. And of course I carry my cooler with me. It sits in front of the uh, crate. So I always have something cold to drink or place to put fish or whatever you need a cooler for. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I keep it simple. I don't take both the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I don't take both of the crates out at the same time. Um, very rarely I do, if I do at all. Um, so that's how I've set mine up. It's very simple. Just some PVC pipe, some zip ties, a milk crate, and then, you know, your stuff you need. Um, keep my rods on there, my flag. I keep an umbrella in the truck in case I decide to take it. Now, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, now you're probably gonna ask how I anchor these things down. Well, the way I've been doing it now is I use the bungee that was provided with the kayak for the one on the back. It just goes in there and keeps it steady, keeps it contained to the area in the back. The way on the front is I mounted uh, a bungee cord, a rubber bungee cord underneath the dry box. And I'll just pull these down. I've got some hooks set on the front of my track system in my kayak and I don't keep that in one place. Um, so it's very simple. Like I say, zippy ties, BBC pipe, and milk crate, and you're ready to go. All right, so if you have any questions, like I say, I'm on YouTube. Just leave a comment, questions, concerns, gripes, complaints, whatnot. And uh, anyways, I guess that's about it. So until next time, Des on Dave, y'all get them hooked.